If you are wondering how much new MBA grads make, what I'll do in this video is I'll talk about the top five jobs that people usually pursue after getting their MBA and how much each one of them pays so that at the end of this video, you'll have a good idea around the average salary for MBAs. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. My name is Ivan Lessa with MBAthink.com. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, so the TLDR of uh, this video is that on average, you should expect to make between $140,000 to $175,000. And that data is coming from employment reports of top three schools, according to US News. And those schools are Stanford, Wharton, and Booth. And uh, I'll leave links to those employment reports in the description below. But on average, for the base salary, it should be roughly between $140,000 to $175,000. Again, depending on the function that you are interested in, the location, and your experience. All right, so now that we have that out of the way, let's talk about the top five job functions that people usually pursue. Number one is management consulting. Now for management consulting, the base salaries that people make is $165,000. And it's pretty standard across all of the employment reports across all of those schools. For the sign signing bonus, it is $30,000. And then your year end bonus is going to be roughly between 20 to 30%. So that is management consulting. Again, uh, if you are uh, going through an MBA right now, you have probably heard uh, people talk about it uh, and a lot of people being interested in it, doing case prep, uh, to you know, prepare for the interviews. Uh, if you are not part of an MBA program right now and you are thinking about it, that is typically uh, the most popular uh, career track that people take after an MBA. Number two is investment banking. And the median salary is between $150,000 to $175,000, depending probably on the location, uh, because people usually uh, get an associate position at an investment bank. Uh, well, I guess it also depends on whether you are going to uh, a large bank versus maybe a boutique bank. But $150,000 to $175,000 is the base salary for investment bankers. For the signing bonus, it is $50,000, actually one of the uh, highest signing bonuses, so uh, definitely something to know. However, investment bankers do put a lot of hours, and uh, I don't know a lot of people that uh, continue working in this industry for a long time. A lot of people pursue other finance careers or they move into private equity. Now, the third job that people are very interested in is product management, either in Silicon Valley or elsewhere in startups or maybe big tech companies. For the median salary, typically it pays between $144,000 to $150,000. You also get a signing bonus of $35,000. Now, it is very important to know that in tech, in tech companies, you uh, often make uh, or are given either um, restricted stock units or RSUs or stock options. And those represent equity in the company. And that equity typically vests over four years with uh, a one year cliff. Basically, you make 25 uh basically 25% of your grant vests in the first year, and then typically it's quarterly um, vesting schedule. But that is typically a component of your earnings in tech companies, and uh, something that um, likely you won't find online. You'll see you know, um, a, a salary, a base salary, bonus, et cetera but the uh, equity grants are usually not listed. You can, you can probably go to levels.fyi, uh, which is a website that um, has people report their salaries in tech companies, and you'll probably find some information there. The fourth function is corporate strategy. So some people wanna be in a non-client facing role, so they choose corporate strategy as their career path. And typically the hours are not as long as they are in investment banking or consulting or even tech companies. And with that, the median salary for MBA grads going into corporate strategy is between $140,000 to $143,000. You have a signing bonus of $20,000 to $25,000. And lastly, we get into private equity, which is the fifth uh, most popular job function that people pursue. And it is very comparable to investment banking. The median salary is between $150,000 to $175,000. The signing bonus is $25,000. Now, a lot of people go into private equity because they have had experience in private equity before, uh, or maybe they've done an internship. 
uh, but others will go into investment banking and then transition into private equity or venture capital after a few years of being in investment banking. And that is it for this video. Really appreciate your time. If you like the content, hit the like button and I'll see you next time.